So these videos for uh, update number six have been crazy and I've been having some huge reactions but I haven't recorded anything thus far. I figured with them coming out, might as well start recording them now. So let's take a look at this and uh, oh god, what the hell is Snut doing? Alright. Hello Clarice. Hi everyone, my name is Snoot. I'm one of the community managers at Coffee Slane Studios. And in today's video, I want to talk all about the changes we're making to the equipment system and the additions we're making to weapons in Update 6. Hell yeah, let's so destroy update some six, crap. We plan to add a bunch of different ammunition types to weapons. Uh, the main reason why we want to do this is because we want to add like a little bit more variety to the weapons that exist in the game. We don't plan to, to like turn the game into like a first person shooter or anything like that. What? We're not doing tower defense? Come on, Snut. You promise. We also don't add, you know, intend to add like survival mechanics or, you know, make this into like an action game or anything like that. It is still a Control. factory building first and foremost, uh, but we just, we just wanted to like expand. Wait, 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 wait. People build factories? When were you guys going to tell me? Sort of the tool sets that you have when it comes to exploration and when it comes to weapons and dealing with enemies in the game, essentially. Before we dive into the ammunition types, what I want to talk about are uh, some of the core changes we're making to equipment. And the first piece of equipment I want to talk about are beacons. So if you remember <laughs> in the last video I put out, uh, you yes. can check the cards here, you know what to do. Um, I talked all about how we're aiming to do away with beacons uh, because we're replacing it with this new like market system that we made. And I just want to clarify a few things yeah, when it comes to stamps. beacons, like the equipment thing. Um, because yeah, like like I said, we're aiming to do away with beacons and this is both in recipes and as an equipment piece. So we plan to do away with all the usage what? of beacons. Wait a minute, recipes too? So that means that we're not going to need recipes to build stuff for like, um, uh, what is it? Like vehicles, because they all needed beacons to be made. Huh. That'll be interesting. It's within recipes um, and changing those recipes, essentially. And this shouldn't affect you too much because most of the recipe yeah. changes are tied to like when you're constructing those? stuff in the workshop or when you're building buildings. The only exception is one of the alt recipes for uranium fuel rods that uses beacons in like the production line. We won't touch that yet, but we will change that <laughs> recipe in some time in the unspecified oh, future. <laughs> Uh, but for update six, that... You know how you're going to have this massive, amazing, beautiful nuclear power, sorry, nuclear power plant? Yeah, we're not going to change that just yet. But eventually you're going to... You're gonna have to deal with that. Thanks, thanks. I'm not I'm not working towards that right now uh, at all. Alt recipe won't change, but Jeez. anything else that has like beacons within the recipe um, will either be gone uh, from the recipe, as in like skip that part, or will kind of rebalance the recipe as a whole. But like I said, it shouldn't ref affect you guys too much in your production lines because the only like recipe that I use is, that's automated is that alt recipe. So the beacons will still be an equipable in the game. It will still, you'll still be able to like run up to the, the uh, workbench and craft one if you want to uh, but the main thing here is that once you place a beacon it's just gonna disappear oh <gasps> um, and it's like magic wait so just basically is it deleted and show up on the map essentially as the new marker so essentially what's gonna happen in update 6 is like all the beacons that exist in the world and any beacons that you may place on the map they're going to be converted to this new system that we made with the markers uh, with huh. the caveat that you know once you remove a marker it's gone because you know you don't need to spend any resources and it's to place gone. markers and the same goes if you place a beacon that's then t uh, turned into a marker you know those resources are going to be gone you know beacons will still sort of be in the game but they'll be converted into the new system and essentially disappear so hopefully this will clear up any confusion surrounding the beacons, etc, etc. And with that being said, let's dive into some exciting changes we're making to the equipment system. And let me just press tab, boom, and hopefully you'll see the biggest change coming up here, which is Head, multiple body, body slots, back baby. And hands, you back guessed and it. Hands. We're actually going to do this for update six. We weren't certain, oh, but here we are. Hell yes. Um, so yeah, we're... Wait, so let's see. So legs, that's definitely going to be the Blade Runners. You're back, um, so that's either jet pack or that's going to be the um, hover pack. A body, well, head's definitely going to be the uh, gas mask because that's the only thing thus far. Wait, what the hell's the body? 
Oh man, do we get like bulletproof vests? Oh, that'd be awesome. We're adding like multiple body slots. You're gonna be able to like equip both the jetpack and the gas mask at the same time. And like, look at me, mom, yeah. I should fly while being gas clouds at the same time. Isn't that exciting? Finally. Sure, who of you guys think this is exciting because we worked so hard on doing this. So yeah, you're gonna be able to use multiple body slots at the same time. One key thing here though to note is that um, we're not gonna be able to like balance the equipment, the existing equipment with this change in mind. Uh, we've mentioned this before that like the, the equipment that we have in the game are balance towards having just one body slot so having multiple ones might be a bit funky you might be a little bit overpowered so we will probably tweak this <laughs> in the future at some point um specifically looking at you jetpack and blade runners at the same time you naughty dog so yeah expect that but Ooh, do in such a thing. you're at least going to be able to like run around and, and equip all the stuff at the same time exciting times we've also made an update to the hud for equipment so when you're scrolling through the equipment slots it will show you like which which equipment you have in your hands and which one are in the list so to speak and that is I'm about to freaking absolutely amazing blow your mind check this shit out if you press h oh <gasps> So yeah, we've added so you can holster and all holster. Uh, I have a hand. Now. Wow, fantastic! I can't believe we made it this far, right? Round of uh, applause. That that's probably it. You can probably stop watching the video. Nothing's gonna like be better than that. Okay? Nothing tops that. But, but let's Nothing. keep going anyways and talk about the other. Sure, stuff. why not? All right, so let's talk about weapons and ammo types. So we've added a bunch of ammo types for uh, a couple of weapons in the game. Uh, specifically, okay. we added for the rebar gun, the rifle, and the nobelisks. Uh, they've gotten a bunch of items. No better way to do it than to walk over to my little. Uh, shooting range that are prepared over here uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course of course what else would he hit other than a freaking lizard doggo wait how many points is the lizard doggo i need to know <laughs> Now, a key thing I want to mention here is that a lot of the stuff that I'm about to show you here are working in progress. This is really like the current state of development for these uh, ammunition types. So okay. they may get tweaked in the future. Um, you know, their uh, via like their visuals might not be final. Um, so just bear that in mind. All right. So the way that so instead of the rebar gun, I want to see if I can guess this. So instead of ammo types for rebar, are they gonna have like a scatter gun? Like it's gonna be like small pellets or something like that, because then it would work more like a shotgun this works now is that if you hold R, you will get this like radial wheel and you'll be able to pick like which ammunition type you want to load. Wait, there's four uh, ammunition? In the weapon. Ammunition? Uh, and you may remember from the Fixmus event that we added sort of this functionality for the snowballs. The reason why we added that was because we had this system in mind with oh. a lot of other ammunition types. Um, so I really that's wanted why to hit that, that water change, off uh, of the uh, We couldn't really say why, right above uh, but here we are today telling you exactly why. So yeah, we still got the regular rebar gun. Uh, sorry, the, the regular like... <laughs> Uh, iron rebar that the weapon comes in today uh, still functions oh. the same way. So the first new uh, ammunition type that we've added for the rebar gun is stun? the stun rebar. So the stun rebar is essentially shooting out another uh, rebar. Uh, Wait, what? It what? Does is <laughs> it looks... How would you shock a rebar? Wait, you're going to put a shocky thing into a metal gun that you hold in your hand. Can't see a problem with that whatsoever. It gives deals a little bit of damage, and it also stuns the images, uh, the enemies for a short amount of time. So this is great if you want to like stop like an enemy running away from you, or uh, no means if no. you want to like stun an enemy and run away yourself. Uh, this is essentially what this is good for. All right, so that's the stun rebar. The next one I want to talk about is the shatter rebar. Yes. So the shatter rebar is essentially. Um, it's shotgun. essentially a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, called it. So it functions the same way as like a Wait, why is it classical purple? shotgun in games, right? Um, so it, it, okay. it sends out like a bunch of smaller rebars. So yeah, it essentially shoots out smaller rebars uh, that split up uh, and, you know, deals damage over a distance. Uh, one key thing to note here is that the damage that's dealt from the rebar gun, um, it, there's no, like, damage uh, distance fall off. So, like, it's not like in any typical shooter where, you know, the further away someone is from your shotgun, you know, the less damage it will take. Um, however, you know, these so wait, rebars we... will split. Wait, so we can now shotgun sniper people across the map? 
That is amazing. Best update ever. It up so like enemies will be hit by fewer of them. Um, so in that sense, it will maybe deal a bit less damage from a distance. I know I want to snipe or um, somebody else. But yeah, <laughs> overall it, it will function pretty much like a regular shotgun in a game. All right, and lastly, I want to talk about the explosive rebar. So you name yes! may suggest I'm what so this is. I'm so glad it's So this rad. is essentially the same kind of um, uh, function as a <laughs> regular rebar, but when it collides with something. It explodes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very fancy. Uh, this one is a lot of fun when you're like shooting enemies and you're like leading sh the shot. Um, shot through and, the uh, Yeah, it deals a bit more damage than the regular ones. All right, so that's the rebar gun. Let's yes. talk about the rifle. Before we dive into like the new ammunition types of the rifle, I just want to mention that we made some changes to the default one as well. So we've changed the uh, magazine size from 10 to 15. So you'll get a few more bullets uh, in each magazine. Oh, now, thank so you don't God. Have to reload as often. Um, by, by Okay, I don't know if anybody else noticed this. So if you look at the, the center right here, all right, when he is firing the Before the we rifle, dive into like the new ammunition types of the rifle, I just want to mention here, that we made some changes. When he starts firing it, this actually starts getting wider, which I'm assuming is because it's like, if you look, yeah, if you look right there, like it's getting less accurate as you're shooting. So it's like... Like at first you would hit just the dot, but then as you shoot more and more, it's like, yeah, you'll 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 be somewhere in this area. Good luck with that. Oh, that is so cool. I, I like that. I like that. In each magazine now, so you don't have to reload as often. Um, by by the way, this animation is a bit glitchy right now. Like there's the hand kind of disappears, but don't worry about that. This is all set up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about uh, your hands. One other key thing that we changed is we that added the, hands, but don't the worry about uh, hands. stack size for the the magazine is Ooh. now uh, 500 instead of uh, whatever it was before. I can't remember. Um, so you can now carry a lot it could be 500. more uh, shots with your as you're out exploring. So the first new magazine I want to talk about for the rifle is the turbo ammo. So what it essentially does is it turns the rifle into like more of a machine gun uh, with increased fire rate. So this is how it looks essentially. And <laughs> yes! And release the fire rate. And, That's like, why they added that thing on there. Before. Um, or <laughs> you can just let it rip and just turn into Rambo for a second. <laughs> Can we have two of them now? <laughs> it will keep the fire rate. So like if you keep holding it like this, you can get this kind of fire rate as well. Uh, pretty neat. The last new ammunition type we're adding for the rifle is referred to as the homing uh, it's got a different name here, but that's gonna change. So what this does, it's kind of like it kind of functions like the smart pistol in like Titanfall and stuff like that. So it will home in on uh, enemies. And stuff like that. So with this, you just need to aim in the sort of direction of the the enemy, and then the. Ladies and gentlemen, do you suck at firing? Can you not hit the bar the backside of a barn? Well, lucky for you, Fix it's got your back. Here with the Smart Ridge ammo, whatever the hell you want to call it, that we haven't come up with a name, <laughs> we just curve the bullet towards your enemies. No longer are the days where you had to worry about actually hitting something. We take care of it for you, because this is a factory game and not a first-person shooter. Fucking love it. Love it. Amazing. 10 out of 10 would shoot again. Projectiles will home into it. And last but not least, let's talk about the changes we're making to Noblisks. So you still have the classical Noblisk like before. Uh, please take note of the HUD, by the way. I haven't mentioned this, but the HUD also is a bit different for all the weapons and stuff. I um, so yeah, you still like the hold. When you hold it down, you'll throw further and more precise. You know, press right mouse Ooh. button, you'll detonate it, etc, etc. So the first Noblisk that I want to talk about is the Pulse Noblisk. So this one Ooh, deals... It's not Green. a lot of damage, uh, but what it does is it is creates it like, like a, a big pulse. So when you blow it up, it will like push anything that's within like a certain radius away. Uh, this is really great if you're like being chased <laughs> by enemies and you want to like push them off cliffs and stuff like that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. This is going to be... <laughs> wait, wait. Not a lot of damage, uh, but what it does is it creates like a big pulse. So when you blow it up, it will like push anything that's within like a certain radius away. Uh, this is really Be gone, great if you're, like, being chased by enemies and you want to like push them off cliffs and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, did they just put that in there for Josh? Another really I cool thing like you can did. use these for is if you've ever played Quake or anything like that, you can kind of do like rocket jumps with this. So, whoa, look at that shit. Wait, so we're going to have Blade Runners. Then you throw a Nobelisk at the ground that you can bounce off of, and then you have a jetpack. But we don't want you to feel overpowered. Q. 
Okay, if you guys could not feel overpowered, that'd be great. All right, just just calm down. I want you to be humble. Okay, um, okay. So yeah, you can almost use this as like a way to traverse the map as well. It's really cool. <laughs> Place on here. Then... Wait, they really don't do any damage. Bang! Look at that shit. So really cool. Oh. Look at me go. I'm so far away now. <laughs> Sorry, I just had too much fun with this. <laughs> I think I forgot that I was making the video. Um, so yeah, really cool, really cool. Another. That's how you know you have developed something good when just testing it out to show everybody. You just get carried away with it. Fucking 10 out of 10, love yeah, it. Real cool way to use this. Next up, we have the Cluster Nobelisk. Um, Ooh, what color is this one? So the Cluster Nobelisk <gasps> is maybe oh, the, is the so name cool. kind of... Wait, look at the, okay, so look at this little thing right here. It's like, um, oh, kind of like an explosion, but like a like a, like a a popcorn thing or something. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Tells the tale. Um, it's a it first, regular there's... like Nobelisk that you throw, but when it explodes, it will like split up and cluster. So it will create like a bigger bang, essentially. Um, <laughs> this is really great for when you're clearing like debris as well. So if you have like a bunch of foliage you want to get rid of, you can just boom, 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 and it will get rid of a bunch of stuff. Oh. Um, and it also just creates like a bigger explosion barrier, essentially. So it's... it's Yes, we need bigger explosions. That That's just, that's number one. If you could just... where Where's the really nuke one? Really useful for like when you have... Wait, is there one where we take you like uranium waste and we make like a nuke? Cause um, I'd be down for that. I'd be really down for that. Multiple enemies uh, chasing you. One noblest that we don't have quite fully functional in the game just yet to demo is a gas noblesque. The gas noblesque is essentially a noblesque <laughs> that you throw and it will create like a poison gas. And any creature that's caught within this gas will like try and flee away from it. All right, and the last uh, noblesque that we want to show. <laughs> we, we make chemical warfare, we make gas bombs. Thanks, not adding gas bombs okay, to the Okay, is the... Yes! Nobelisk. Yes! Um... Yes. That doesn't look safe. <laughs> exactly. That's why it's perfect. <laughs> You're not far enough away. Run. <laughs> He put down, he put down freaking concrete things as fucking. It's a nasty keyboard. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's Jace just pouring water on his head. <laughs> Boom too big. <laughs> Alright, anyways, now, uh, so the new uh, Noblesk is essentially just a bigger regular Noblesk. So, once you throw it and it explodes, it just creates like a bigger bang. Uh, this VFX is just placeholder for the record. Uh, it doesn't look epic <laughs> at all. Uh, hopefully the, the actual one will look so a lot lame. cooler. So yeah, those are some of the new animation types that were added to the game. Uh, really quick bonus round, few more things that I just want to show off just because they're cool. Um, some additions that we made to the UI as well. So you may have noticed uh, when I'm hovering over some of these items, they've got a little bit of a different uh, description now. Oh, so for instance, for the weapons damage. and ammunition, uh, you can see that they're displaying like their damage um, and so the pulse one is going to take a, oh God, how can I not think of the name of it? Everybody in the comments is like, how can you not think of the name of that? It's right there. It's right there. I would see, I'm so used to playing the game. I'm just going to hover over it and hope it actually works. It does not work. Oh, crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator. Sure. Why not? 
And then the other thing takes crystal quartz. We take quartz, a little bit of how like the recipes look like and stuff like that. And in the codex, uh, we've also kind of expanded a little bit of how this functions. So now you have the option here to click to expand. Uh, and it will show you like a bit more information about this stuff. That's you can also change awesome. like if I'm overclocking, like how many items do I need, you know? <laughs> or if I want to say like I want to produce five per minute, you know, or in yes. this case, like 10 per minute like what does that look like do i need 10 okay cool you get that information <laughs> and one final tweak we also wait so the standard recipe for noblesk is now going to be noblesk and biomass uh what wait a noblesk plus biomass equals a noblesk <laughs> uh, i'm confused so made to the to-do list is that you know once you add this to-do list we made it so that you can customize this a little bit more actually so now not only with the to-do list you also shows you like how many parts you need to make stuff you can also leave like little notes to yourself and when you close this menu uh, it will still <laughs> stay awesome. up the HUD, uh, and you will still keep your notes so you can kind of create like little to-dos for yourself and like check them off you can also do a little bit of text formatting and the cool thing too is you can add like public notes and private notes so public notes are for everyone private notes is just for you so you can be like hey everyone and then in the hud you know they will show up as like public notes and then you have your private notes yeah, everybody can see what you're okay, trying to do so that's gonna be it for this video i am absolutely done <laughs> recording this video now uh thank you so much for tuning in everybody Hope you're excited for the changes that we're making. Uh, please bear in mind that a lot of the stuff that we showcase today are work in progress. So, you know, they're not fully finished. Wait, so I can't combine a noblest with some biomass Thank to make so a noblest? We'll see each other soon enough. Bye bye. Oh, that was freaking amazing. Oh, man, I freaking love that. I can't wait for the new stuff. <laughs> I want to be gone thoughts, things off the cliff and everything. It's going to be freaking awesome. It actually makes you kind of want to explore the map, especially when they add nukes to the map. Oh, that's going to make fighting even better. But anyway, that's, that is going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, like you said, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye, buddy.